Did you know that our Milky Way galaxy is not even a speck when compared to the largest known galaxy in the universe IC 1101? Welcome to the Cosmic Playground, where we'll be exploring the vastness of our galactic home, the Milky Way, and its colossal neighbor IC 1101. The Milky Way, a spiral galaxy we call home, is a sprawling cosmic metropolis, teeming with an estimated 100 to 400 billion stars. Picture each star as a beacon of light shining across the vast expanse of our universe. Now let's consider the sheer size of our galaxy. The Milky Way, in all its celestial glory, stretches across a staggering 100,000 light years in diameter. Imagine a journey at the speed of light taking 100,000 years to traverse from one end to the other. It's hard to grasp, isn't it? Now let's turn our gaze to the true titan of the cosmos, IC 1101. This elliptical galaxy is the largest we've ever discovered and it makes our Milky Way look like a mere speck of cosmic dust. With a diameter of 6 million light years, IC 1101 is an astronomical giant. It's so enormous in fact that it's hard for our earthly minds to comprehend. Just to put it in perspective, if the Milky Way was the size of a coin, IC 1101 would be as large as a city. That's right, a city. This celestial behemoth is home to an estimated 100 trillion stars, each one a point of light in the vast cosmic ocean. It's a galaxy so vast it could swallow our Milky Way whole and still have room for thousands more galaxies of our size. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we're continually humbled by the sheer scale of these cosmic wonders. These celestial bodies dwarf our earthly comprehension, reminding us that we are but tiny players in a grand cosmic play. But how does our Milky Way stack up against the behemoth IC 1101? Let's take a journey from our galactic home to this cosmic titan. But think of the Milky Way as our cosmic neighborhood, our little slice of the universe. It's a bustling galactic metropolis with around 400 billion stars, each potentially hosting their own planetary systems. This is our home, our address in the vast cosmic expanse. Our galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy, characterized by its distinct spiral arms that swirl out from a central bar. These arms are composed of dust, gas, and billions of stars, creating a stunning cosmic whirlpool that stretches roughly 100,000 light years across. But the heart of our galaxy holds a more sinister spectacle. Nestled at the center of the Milky Way, hidden behind a thick veil of cosmic dust and gas, lurks a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A asterisk. With a mass 4 million times that of our sun, it's a cosmic beast that devours anything venturing too close. Yet it plays a vital role in the formation and evolution of our galaxy. Then, there's our neighborhood, located in one of the galaxy's outer spiral arms, the Orion Arm. Our solar system, with its single star, the sun, and its eight planets, including our Earth, resides about 26,000 light-years from the galaxy's turbulent center. We're in the suburbs of the Milky Way, a relatively quiet, safe spot away from the crowded, chaotic central regions. Our Milky Way is not alone. It's part of a gravitationally bound family known as the Local Group, which includes more than 50 galaxies. Andromeda, the largest galaxy in this group, is on a collision course with the Milky Way. But fear not, this cosmic dance won't take place for another 4 billion years or so. So, that's our home, the Milky Way. An elegant spiral galaxy, teeming with stars, nebulae, and planets, ruled by a supermassive black hole, and located in a cosmic community of galaxies. It's a place of immense beauty and complexity. Now prepare for a mind-blowing journey to IC 1101 a galaxy that makes our Milky Way seem like a cosmic speck in comparison. Imagine boarding a spaceship that can travel at the speed of light. Even then, the journey from the Milky Way to IC 1101 would take millions of years. With that thought in mind, let's embark on this cosmic voyage. As we leave the familiar confines of our galactic home, the Milky Way, we're immediately greeted by the sheer vastness of intergalactic space. It's a realm of cosmic silence, punctuated only by the faint whispers of distant galaxies. As we traverse this cosmic ocean, we encounter galaxies of all shapes and sizes. Some are spiral galaxies, like our own, spinning in a cosmic dance of gravity. Others are elliptical galaxies, their stars moving in random orbits like bees around a hive. We even come across irregular galaxies, their forms distorted by the relentless pull of gravity. Each galaxy we pass is a universe in its own right, teeming with billions of stars, each possibly hosting planets of its own. These galaxies are like cosmic islands, separated by vast expanses of emptiness, yet bound by the universal force of gravity. 
Our journey takes us deeper into the cosmic wilderness, where galaxies are fewer and the darkness of space is more profound. This is the realm of intergalactic space, a seemingly empty void between galaxies. Here, the only signs of existence are the faint echoes of cosmic events from eons ago. The death throes of stars, the birth of black holes, the collision of galaxies. Finally, after what would have been millions of years, we arrive at our destination. IC 1101, the Cosmic Titan. This galaxy puts everything we've seen so far into perspective. It's a behemoth, dwarfing even the largest galaxies we've passed on our journey. IC 1101 is an elliptical galaxy, home to an estimated 100 trillion stars. That's more than 10 times the number of stars in the Milky Way. This galaxy is so vast that light, traveling at its top speed, would take over 200,000 years to cross from one side to the other. But it's not just the size of IC 1101 that's impressive. This galaxy is incredibly old with an estimated age of nearly 14 billion years. Most of its stars are red and yellow, the colors of age in the cosmos. These stars have been shining for billions of years, their light a testament to the galaxy's ancient origins. As we approach IC 1101, we realize how truly vast this galaxy is. It's a cosmic titan, a testament to the power and majesty of the universe. It's a reminder that we, inhabitants of the tiny Milky Way, are but a small part of a universe teeming with galaxies, each with its own story to tell. It's a humbling experience, one that underscores our place in the cosmos and the wonders that await us as we continue to explore the universe. Welcome to IC 1101, the largest galaxy in the observable universe. Imagine a celestial giant so vast that it dwarfs our Milky Way, making it seem like a mere speck of stardust. That's IC 1101, a supergiant elliptical galaxy that stretches across 6 million light years. In contrast, our own galaxy spans a measly 100,000 light years. It's like comparing a tiny pebble to a colossal mountain. Now let's talk numbers. IC 1101 houses potentially trillions of stars. Yes, trillions with a capital T. On the other hand, our Milky Way, though not a slouch by any means, contains around 2 to 400 billion stars. The difference is so staggering that it's hard to wrap our human minds around it. But the grandeur of IC 1101 doesn't stop there. At its heart lies a central supercluster, a dense region teeming with galaxies. This supercluster is the very core of the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster. It's like the bustling city center of a vast cosmic metropolis where galaxies are the buildings and stars are the inhabitants. Let's put this into perspective. Our Milky Way is part of a local group of about 54 galaxies. Now imagine a gathering of thousands of such groups. That's what's happening in the central supercluster of IC 1101. This incredible galaxy is not just a colossus because of its size or the number of stars it harbors. It's a colossus because it challenges our understanding of the universe. It pushes the boundaries of what we think is possible and forces us to rethink our place in the cosmos. In the face of IC 1101, our Milky Way seems but a humble home in the cosmic landscape. Yet it's this very humbleness that makes our existence so special. For in the grand scheme of things, we are part of a universe that is infinitely larger and more wonderful than we can ever truly comprehend. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're not just looking at stars, you're looking at the universe's colossus and your place within it. So, there we have it, a journey from our home in the Milky Way to the largest galaxy known to us, IC 1101. We've traveled from our galactic neighborhood, teeming with about 200 billion stars, to the colossal IC 1101, home to an astonishing 100 trillion stars. Our Milky Way, vast and beautiful, is just a tiny speck in the cosmic ocean compared to the staggering enormity of IC 1101. This comparison paints a humbling picture of our place in the universe. We are but a tiny part of a vast cosmic tapestry woven with galaxies of all shapes and sizes. Each star, each galaxy, an integral part of the grand cosmic narrative. Yet despite our seemingly insignificant size, we humans have the unique ability to learn, to explore, to understand, and to marvel at this cosmic spectacle. Remember, we are all made of star stuff, and the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, do subscribe and hit the like button to join us in exploring more celestial wonders. Until next time, keep looking up.